Hello everybody, Jerome right here once again, and just when I thought that I was through with the Beatles, I find some more shocking material to share with you. This is the Beatles Revolver album cover. Alright, and um, let's see if I can get up in here with my finger. Yeah, okay, I can. Alright, this is the Beatles Revolver album cover. Okay, um, again, if I mirror this image, it actually produces other image. And um, the likenesses of Elvis Presley has popped up. Um, Michael Jackson has popped up, and um, but there's something more interesting than right here in your face. This is this is a unedited version of the album cover, and these Beatles are linked to the death of Michael Jackson, Elvis Presley, okay, and now Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix from the is from the US but he died in the UK at the early age of 27 and he died due to um, asphyxiation meaning choked out died um, heart failure the whole nine from barbiturates meaning that he choked out his brain um, suffered from oxygen, the whole nine, and he just, he went out, okay? And they state that this was due to barbiturates. If you were to look up Jimi Hendrix, that's what you would get. Now, if you mirror, well, I'm not even going to go into the mirror thing. I'm going to go right to this because I'm going to close this video out of this. The title of this video is going to be, The Beatles are claiming responsibility for the death of Jimi Hendrix. In this revolver album cover, we all know what Jimi Hendrix looks like. If you Google his image, if you Google the image of Jimi Hendrix, you will get something like this here. Look like some something like a Lenny Kravitz or almost like a Rick James character there with the what you call him with the guitar. You see that? Well, what in the hell is he doing being here, held by the Beatles, held hostage, being choked right there? There's his image. He's being choked. Now, he died by asphyxiation, meaning wind cut off to the brain. I'm going to see if I can bring that up to closer in for you people. So... Where we at? Let me put my finger there so I can get this in closer for you. So you can see this for yourself. And there he is, right there. Jimi Hendrix, being choked out by these guys. Now, mind you that um, the Beatles actually stopped him from um, 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 Jimi Hendrix from reaching the top in the charts I think back in the 70s on one of his um, hit songs and the Beatles actually were the ones that came in and actually um, um, stole that place so they were actually rivaling um, um, groups and all but it goes beyond that because I've tied Jim Jimi Hendrix now and he only had a short-lived career of four years and it's amazing that he died over in the UK but I've tied Jimi Hendrix to something that is far more bizarre, which actually is something that goes back to Otto Dick's paintings, and um, and I have, I have to bear with me, people, because I gotta find Jimi Hendrix's. Um, oh, here you go, here now. Um, I was running out of ink, but Jimi Hendrix's um album. Um, are you experienced? And he's shown between, I ran out of ink there, people. He's shown between two Caucasian counterparts, and he has a, 
a tire on that has eyes on it in his breast area and a face looking like almost like a drag queen setup look like a an eerie um, set up there you have to Google the image are you experienced but you see that he's in like a sphere and you see and you see the background of that sphere look like a bunch of flowers or pink flowers and all of that and then the whole album cover is yellow you know what that is you know what that is actually stating people that is no different than the Beatles representation of their yellow submarine this album cover by Jimi Hendrix is also referencing genes and genetics. So it's no surprise to me that he's ended up in UK somewhere dead. And again, people, mind you that I've tied Michael Jackson to the, to the Beatles. I've tied Elvis to the Beatles. And both of them are dead. Elvis at, at 42, I thought he had died around 50, but 42, he's dead. Jimi Hendrix at um, 27, dead. And then Michael Jackson at age 50, dead. And all of references being made here in the Beatles' work is also being made in their work and vice versa intermingling. But the only difference is that the Beatles happen to be born bred I guess from the UK they're still alive while these American band members Michael Jackson, Elvis Presley and Jimi Hendrix are dead what is going on? well Jimi Hendrix album cover Are You Experienced relates to genes and genetics which actually um, um, creates a bacteria a bacterial cyst and I know this album cover very well because I just got finished doing my other videos relating to Otto Dix and with that of um the soldier I'm um, say farewell to and I won't probably won't be able to think of that guy's name that German soldier but anyway say farewell to something and I forget his damn name and I have to find it now that I've actually gone into it oh gosh let me find that right quick, and I'm going to tell you exactly what that is, what that is actually saying. Um, Otto Dix's 1929 painting, um, um, The Goodbye to Hamburg, okay? I just did a video on that, and I've related that to being linked to, and is, that is Jimi um, Hendrix's album cover, to that of a dermoid cyst scenario and this is the reason why Jimi Hendrix is in a sphere showing you this background right there this is um, a cancerous these are um, um, uh, cancerous bacteria and it's shown in the color that it actually is now this is my position that this is what Jimi Hendrix is stating, not just by being surrounded by this yellow, but also the scenario in the sphere with his inside. He's showing um, cells on his album cover. These guys all shown inside of this dendroid tumor, because that's what it is. And Jimi Hendrix is even, and by the way, people, he has a shirt with eyes on it. And the hair around his neck, he's wearing that, that collar. See the eyes there? And the hair and stuff around it, under the neck. And what this Demeroy cyst actually consists of is being in the shell scenario, people, where there is hair grown, teeth grown, and it grows in the uterus of woman. It's a bacteria. It's my position that what is happening Oh, by the way, and this is what Jimi Hendrix's album is referencing, by the way, people. Now, right there. So when you Google Jimi Hendrix, Are You Experienced album, when you see the yellow surrounding, think of the Beatles' yellow submarine and those little dots on there, those circular dots, because it all represents cell and contamination of cells, of that of women. Specifically, the... Um, Oh gosh, I just, I just had the word on the tip of my damn tongue. The uterus, okay? And this is why Jimi Hendrix 
is wearing the impression of hide and hair, hair and eyes in there. They're, they're, they're showing you that they are inside of this Denmore cyst which contaminates women and uteruses. This is what this scenario is. And this is why the yellow is out on this. Now, although I know that I'm not expert, I'm giving this to you in layman's terms. In fact, I'm going to try to wrap this video up. But lo and behold, here you have the Beatles with hair everywhere. Hair everywhere. Everybody in a collage of images. You see the black ear, which I'm telling you, this is a representation of the penis. You will see that that ear, when you Google the image, notice that this ear part comes around and is sucking on that ear part and the other is going into the head like a snake. I'm telling you that that represents the genetics of monkeys and, and, and um, apes and Africans. This is what this is the representation. Talking about being black, being bridged over white and genetic contamination. This is the reason why you see a guy coming out of here with with like a dart sucking on this straw. Hair represents what people? Genes and genetics. See how this guy's laying up in the hair here with the hair wrapped around his arm shows that he's covering it. And they're showing you that they are intermingling genes, people, and then going out and contaminate other places. Look at the little boy here, representation over. Oh, hold on, you can't see nothing over there. There's a little boy representation here. Well, why in the hell does he have this person coming out of his ear? People, are you starting to get the picture of what's going on here? You see this? Now, there is something else. Look at Jimi Hendrix now. Here, this is impl implying murder. This is, this is a smoking gun because if the man has died due to asphyxiation, meaning strangled to death, choked out, loss of oxygen and now here he's shown on the Beatle album a Beatle album cover revolver now no one has ever and i think revolver means gun shoot murder and then he's being choked and this is the way that he died and no one has ever fingered that is being Jimi hendrix on this album cover in all of these years that this has been out Even here, look here, people. Look here. Guy shown choking himself. These clowns, these assholes, the Beatles, and I'm and look, I don't I don't listen to neither one of their music or Jimi Hendrix. Even though I think he plays a mean guitar, I used to hear the, the guitar being played, but I never got into when I was younger rock and roll. Listen to it now though, people. But my only draw to this is to my paranormal experience and encounter where these guys, there's something going on here and it's all connected to the UK. All to the UK. All I know is that I've tied them, the Beatles, to Michael Jackson, Elvis Presley, and Jimi Hendrix, whom are all dead. Three that rock and roll big rock and roll figures are pop star I mean pop culture figures which are dead, and these four monkeys or three monkeys whatever the hell they are are still alive. UK behind the UK. Now, um, I'm going to exit. Let me show you something else about this, and I'm going to go to. Showing you about the Elvis thing right quick while I'm in here. And, um, I gotta, oh, gotta go to the Elvis thing. Now, Jimi Hendrix people died in the UK. Died in the UK. Now, and died of asphyxiation, meaning that he was choked to death on barbiturates. His oxygen was cut out. And the Beatles are showing you that they're the cause for it. They showed you that they were the ones. Either they're suggesting they gave Jimi Hendrix the drugs that choked him out, or they physically choked him. Or something that they caused. They're, they're taking blame. That's no different than people are smoking gun. Now, in fact, it is a smoking gun because their whole thing is talking about a revolver. So here's another connection, the smoking gun. We, we're responsible. That's no different than a terrorist in, in, in the, um, in the um, 
in the um, in the um, in the tower destruction over in New York, no different than to say, look, we're responsible for this. This is what the Beatles are saying here. We're responsible for Jimi Hendrix's death. All right. When this ear, um, image is mirrored, I'm going to do this here. When this image is mirrored, there's the guy right there. This guy transforms into an eerie likeness of that of Elvis Preston. Right there. His face becomes chunky and chubby, just like Elvis Presley's. It creates almost a beard and the hair, the way Elvis had his hair parted, and like a, um, a bang coming across the top of the hair, like a piece of the hair coming out. It's a cross between Elvis Presley and that of Abraham Lincoln. And I'm going to show you one of the images that, that it produces, or a couple of the images that that produces. And this is what I'm seeing there. You see that, people? So if you Google images of Elvis Presley, I'm trying to see. I'm getting it crazy over here, people. So I'm hoping that you're seeing it the right way. All right. But that's what I'm seeing right there. And that is right here. Right there. All right. Now. There's also something else that is created. And there it is. There's another image there. You see that piece of hair dropping down? All of that is shown right here on this mirrored image of the Revolver album. Now, in other images of it, I told you that Michael Jackson appeared at the top. Okay? Um, believe it or not, with this image mirrored, Seeing it from off the screen, I'm telling, oh, let me back up some. I'm going to tell you something else that I'm seeing here that, that, that has me going as well, too. In fact, I could probably make another video of that, but in this mirrored image, it almost creates the face and likeness here. And well, it's a mirrored image, so you will get two. So on both sides, it creates a face similar, very much similar to that of the face of Michael Jackson when he passed away. Now in the other, in my other video, which you must see, we definitely have a Jackson. We are positively identified a Jackson in the mirrored image, which is up on the top. Now I don't know whether it's Michael or one of his brothers, but it is definitely a Jackson. Afro, the whole nine at top, okay? Now I'm telling you though here that even with this bang that Elvis has here, there's a bang on this individual right here. Make sure I'm on the screen. That creates almost the likeness of Michael. The hair, the face, the mouth, the eyes, and everything. A, a very blurred image. But it's, let me see if I can bring that in some here for you. So you can, wait, right there. Seems to be a face of Michael. That would be the left eye, the right eye there. That piece of hair coming down. The hair going down. But if you look at the image straight up, it is not, it's, a, um, it's another individual that's in there. But it seems like what happens is the face morphed to Michael. That's what it seems like to me, that this, this image is morphing that of Michael. And what is Michael wearing? It shows Michael's head coming out of a gesture or a clown uniform or a clown costume. And this is what this is, okay? A gesture uniform, which makes what well, you probably say, well, what is Michael doing wearing a clown uniform on the, um, the Beatles album cover? Well, this is Elvis. This is Elvis. This creates a crown. All of this creates a crown. So that, that brings in royalty. So what is associated with royalty? Gestures, clowns at the side of the king. So that likeness actually creates that. Now, there's something else that I want to talk to you about while I'm here is that I'm hoping that you can see this pretty good. There's something else that I want to discuss with you about this is the fact of the matter that, um, where we at? Oh, here, talking about royalty, is this 
right there creates a cross and it creates a, a royal insignia right there. And I'm going to tell you about what this whole thing creates in a minute. Okay, there's a royal insignia with a cross in the middle, which represents religion, ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted royalty. All right. Now, what else is, is there to discuss or realize about this seat of crown here? This creates a crown. This is a mirrored image that creates a crown. Well, given the scenario that this is Elvis, as this, these images do do appear to produce his likeness. They, they, they produce his likeness. All right. So given the scenario that this is Elvis, the king of rock and roll, then we have this image, this mirrored image of Michael Jackson, the king of pop. I'm seeing in between here a hairy like monkey which this image does not in fact when you when you look at the um, on the straight up image people it's actually one it's either a child i don't know if it's a child of one of the beetles or whatever i don't know where my images are here but when i when i seen that image there and with it being in such close proximity i thought of lisa presley and why did I think of Lisa Presley? Well, I thought of her because Elvis only had one child. And for that child to be there, aiming up towards Michael, and thinking that this is the length of genetics that were created in a cauldron cult like way. And you got Elvis, Elvis's child, and then sent to Michael Jackson, which the the Beatles are bragging about boasting about tapping into. And that's why you have that Beatle in it sitting there. And I'm thinking that I'm in too close for you to see all of that. So let me back out some. All right, I'm going to back out a little bit. So, again, you have a cross, which means cross-referencing of man's kind's genetics with animal kind's genetics. You have images of Elvis, Elvis that is produced when this image is mirrored. Okay? When it is not mirrored, it creates a, a regular looking guy with a smirk on his face. When you when it's mirrored, the guy is um, serious, and it creates the likeness of that of um, of Elvis. Elvis likeness. Now, there's something else about this that I want to share with you, and it creates the Elvis likeness. All right, there's something else about this that I I do want to share with you. Oh, here's the Revolver album. The guy that's actually there is right there with his face in the middle. But when the image is mirrored, he becomes in the likeness with the hair and all of that of Elvis Presley. Right there. Now, let's just assume for argument's sake that this is Elvis Presley. And this is referencing Elvis Presley child, Lisa, and then Michael. And these genes being um, um, sent off. Now, how's it all being done? Well, you have to look at the image. Because here, what we at here? You have heads of goats. There's the eye. There's an eye on that side. And it has a specific color goat. It's a two-tone goat there. You see the, the head of it. In fact, let me take and turn the image so you can see what that looks like created sideways. Here's the image straight up. Oh, here's the um, that image, Elvis image too. I'm going to bring it in closer and let you be the judge of it. Okay? On whether, on whether you believe that they're Elvis or not. Okay, there's the images. Um, can I get the other image that I said that I pointed out as being Michael? See if you can see that image as well too. I pull them over to the side and give you a chance, an opportunity to see them up there. In fact, let me see if I can... I'm alleging that these, um, where are we at here? That's Elvis, that these would be, um, where are we at? Michael, where are you at? If this is, where are we at? Right there, at the pencil tip. Images and likenesses of Michael wearing a gesture. 
and that would be right here on the mirrored image of this um, whole entire um, thing here. Now, um, what makes me think that this is Elvis's child, Lisa? Because this crown that is here also creates a cauldron-like flask that comes down. And I'm probably going to have to bring this back so you can actually... I'm going to bring reduce the size so you can see. Again, this creates a cauldron-like flask, meaning that you drink from. You know what you drink? goes in your body. A cocktail of, of genes. And it describes which genes are being created and cut over, saying a cross-reference of these genes, and utilizing Elvis sat down at this point. And the reason why I say that that child right here on either side is representation of Lisa, um, Elvis's daughter, is because down here you have two L's going out. And representing Elvis's daughter, this is Elvis, his daughter Lisa carrying the jeans, and she had an encounter with that of Michael, who Michael is actually, I have linked to these genetic bridgings as well. So I have Jimi Hendrix tied to these genetic bridgings. I have Michael Jackson tied to these genetic bridgings. Um, I have Elvis Presley tied to these genetic bridgings. And definitely the Beatles are tied to these genetic bridgings. Um, it's, it's, people, it just goes on and on and on. And then the artist that I include in this is um, Mark Ryden, and then um, <clears throat> which is the American artist, and then I have um, Otto Otto Dix, which is an um, is a German artist. Okay, so I mean, all of this is going on and on, people, and seemingly a never-ending story. Now, um, so there are animals involved here. This here is the head of a goat. There's one on this side here. Obviously, there's two because it's a mirror. Image. There's the goat eye right there. We all know what a goat's eye look like. And I'm going to bring that in closer on this other image that I have. And so show you. There's the goat's eye right there. Okay, right there at the pencil tip right there. Now, if you turn it around, it creates the head of the goat. A specific color to goat, as you can actually see. And we all know that the goat is tied in with sacrificing and bridging and all that. Here's another head from the other side. Let me move this thing. I'm getting a, a, a blurred image. That's the reason why I keep moving it. But see the goat's head in there, people, right there? Okay? The whole goat's head right there. And then on the other side, there's another one. But what's going on is through the crown... And through this cap, you see this bell cap here? It creates like a Roman helmet. You see this right here? You see this right here, people? That Roman helmet? Well, we all know what Rome represents, right? The Vatican. You see this Roman bell-like helmet here? This Gothic-like helmet that has a skull in the middle? Look at that, people. You see that? So you have the Roman-style helmet, the bell-style helmet with the skull in the middle, bridged over ancient rooted royalty, which is that of a crown, which means kingship and queenship. And then, not only that, is you have laid over the bell-shaped helmet, these head of these goats. Let's call them sabbatic goats for this. The witch's goats for that. Because this is a cocktail. So this, this definitely is a sabbatic goat because it's tied in with blood and semen being extracted from the goat. So now, you see the likenesses of the goat, which is that mask-looking thing that the goats have on his face that shows his, his coloring and his, or, his, um, his genetic orientation, okay, the eye, and it shows you how through the body of these genes with the goat mixed in with all of these individuals, the goat's genes are shown here. There's a whole face of a goat right there that creates the whole exact thing. So you have a sabotic goat there. Well, you have three goats because this whole head here creates a goat. And on its own self, its, its own heads creates its own horns right there, which would be the ears as well, too. You see that laid down here? Now, check this out. Now, you have the Roman cap there, here. You have the goat's head down here now. And you have Elvis's likenesses there. And then on a bridge of the goat's nose here, you have the cross symbol, which represents that of ancient rooted royalty and ancient rooted religion. 
There's the goat's nostrils here on either side. Here's the goat's mouth area coming down. And down here you have the two L's. And on top of that, the goat's eyes. Where the helmet comes down and meets the, 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 um, the royal crown, the Roman crown meets the royal crown. Right here, there's a bubble over the eyes. We all know the big eyes that goats have, which are right here. There's a child in each eye. And in the face of the child, it creates the goat's eye right there. And then this creates the pupils. And then that creates the, um, that, that, um, the, the goat's actual eyeball, that, that skinny line in the goat's eye right there. So we have, people, a conclusive hit on genetic altering because this whole image is in the head and the hair pieces of the beetles, which represents genes, genes and genetics. So we have a cauldron, a cocktail, like a cocktail of genetic change, symbolic of what these people are telling, what I've been stating all along and what has been happening all along. And symbolic of everything that is entailed in witchcraft, um, 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 a witch's kettle, a cauldron's kettle, um, a change of genes, and death and resurrection because we got Elvis Presley dead, we got um, um, Jimi Hendrix dead, and we got Michael Jackson dead, and we got the Beatles boasting about it who are still alive, and we're talking about through the bodies of their children, these genes still go on. Now, I want to say that this is almost to me looking like Lisa Presley, but as I was starting to go and look for images of Lisa Presley, oh, the L, by the way, I got the L, Elvis's jet that he had Lisa Marie. I mean, I like to show pictures. If you look at the L on that jet, you see that? Which represents wings. You see that? There's the L right there. And this is where I made that connection. Now, I get to talking about Lisa Presley, and I was going to go looking at images for her, and I found some of um, Elvis and Priscil Priscilla, I guess that would be with their baby Lisa, and and you know it strikes me as that um, Lisa does not look like neither one of them in so much as far as hair. I mean, neither Elvis or our Lisa is a natural blonde. I mean, um, our Priscilla is a natural blonde, but their, their child has almost like a blonde in color hair. And I can't help but wonder. And here she is, like a, like, like almost like a three-tone blonde. And here she is in other images there, but as she's grown up. But she doesn't have the hair of her father. And which I find to be amazing because, I mean, I guess Elvis separated from from um, from Priscilla Presley, and then with Lisa being the only heir to Elvis's estate, and then he pops up dead, and their separation, this, that, and a third. I mean, and it's drug related. I mean, this is the big thing of the '70s because you had everybody dying of. Drug use. I mean, at what point do, and I mean, not just little stars, I'm talking about big stars. Michael Jackson, Jimi Hendrix, and, well, back then it was not, um, it was Jimi Hendrix and Elvis Presley because they died around the same exact time and they're referenced here. So, what in the hell is going on? I mean, it kind of makes me wonder did Elvis find out that? His little one wasn't really truly his, and there was a problem here. And before he can actually blow the whistle and start making a big stink about it, he met his untimely fate. You know, people, there's a lot of mystery surrounding what is happening with this. And it all links back to the same exact thing. You will always find the cross in the middle and you will always find the crown in the middle of it all. You know why? Because it's this, these are the greater powers behind all of the evil which is actually happening in our world today. And where there are power plots behind where 
they can utilize mules through music or through industry, through food chains or anything. This is what you will find behind the scenes. And this is the reason why these connections can come up. These amazing um, 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 stories on what I'm telling is coming up here because there is something behind this, people, that is so bizarre and so unusual that it's, it's, it's crazy, you know? And, um, but you have, I wonder if I can bring that other image back up. Here you have, I'm going to go back, I'm going to close this out on, on um, not Jimi Hendrix, but Jimi Hendrix died in England, London. He died in, in, in England. This is in the center of everything that I'm discussing, where ancient rooted royalty and ancient rooted religion come together to create these genes. Then you have a famous rock group from the 60s boasting about how there is genetic altering. They have themselves with black ears, which shapes like dicks, and they're holding these up, dressed like women. Look, here, here is representation of a gay. The other one's reaching around behind him, and look at this strand, this genetic strand coming around here, and look, like it's a rope coming around, and look, and then Jimi Hendrix reaching, you see this? Jimi Hendrix being choked out there. So what in the hell is going on? And then I come along and say through my paranormal experience and encounter that all of this represent, rep, represents that we have an ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted um, royalty that are genetically changing themselves, altering mankind's being. And what they are doing is furthering themselves further from that of their black, black ape and African ancestor and making genes furthered away from those origins. Recreating genes. And all of this in, in this cult-like scenario calls for death and resurrection. And, and everywhere that you can find this, there's an implication of genes. What are the genes being mentioned through? Through sex. Through um, representations of, of penises or, or a male or female organs, which represent reproduction or hair which represents that of um, um, genes, who you genetically are, we all know. And then you have these people here showing you that this is what this is. And this is from a 1960-something album cover. This knowledge being known back then. This group is still around today. How many minutes do I got left? I'm going to get up out of this video. But my position is that, and in fact, I wanted to show you that, even the so-called beetle here, in the mirrored image, I'm telling you that they almost looks like, to be totally honest with you, I thought to myself when I brought up the image of, um, of Lisa and, um, and, um, and what's it called? I don't know where we at. I thought that this face bared a, an uncanny likeness to that of, um, first I said, um, Priscilla Presley, right there, she's with Elvis, I think, I think you can see that, I don't know if you can see that or not, there you go, all right, I can see it now, with me having it tilt back like that, I thought that that image, that likeness, because it actually, almost has like a share, you know, there you go there, you see that likeness, or the older daughter of Elvis, There she is there. And again, people, her hair does not match as theirs. And I'm talking about genetic altering and this, that, and a third. I mean, it makes one question now if this is really Elvis's daughter or some king's daughter or some pope's daughter. You know what I mean? Um, this is, um, these are questions that are to be raised there. I mean, but, but nevertheless, look at that. And I'm stating that the Beatles... Are making mockery of people that are were dead or act, became dead. Now, again, when you mirror this image of revolver turned in on itself, it creates revolver reversed from either end. It creates the word when they overlay each other, creates never, never. 
Never Never is Michael Jackson's Never Neverland. Okay? Now this is this is this is very, 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 very unusual. And then in my other videos, which you must see people, at the top, again, there was a Jackson at the top. So, I mean, you have people that are being referenced with the Beatles and then suddenly meeting an untimely death. And they're the only ones that's still surviving. They're the only ones that are still surviving. But ask yourself, what is Jimi Hendrix doing here, shown choked out, being choked out here? When you Google that album cover, what is Jimi Hendrix doing there? And it's no reference of this nowhere in the news or nowhere about Jimi Hendrix being on that album cover until you just heard it now. And I made the connection. Jimi Hendrix died in, 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 in Britain. I done tied Britain to all of this. I'm talking about Brit, Brit, I'm, I'm talking about um, um, the British over there were being linked to this. So he died in Britain back in the 70s, a, 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 a supposedly two barbiturates. Michael Jackson, drugs, overdose, they, they, so they said, at the hands of a doctor. And Elvis Presley died alone with no one there to witness anything. And that's supposed to be about drugs. In the same exact way. But it's my position, if you want to believe that they died that way, it's because of the fact that they died like that. It's because of all of these cocktails and chemistries that calls for... Oh, and by the way, wherever... There's a reference of these genetic alterings in that. You also see a reference of homosexuality. You see this here, that black and white. That's it's talking about homosexuality and black and white. You see that right there. Meaning this guy's carrying the genes. He's like, he he acting got his hands up and his hands on his hip, representing that of, of of a gay um in a gay stance there. You can also see these these images of black and white like this. When you see a person, it reminds me because you know what it's called. It's a prisoner. I seen it in um, Leonardo da Vinci's um, artwork back in the day, and as I know what they're referencing, it's representing of a jailbird, meaning that their bodies are captive to the genes that are created. They carry them, and it's shown in the gay stance. Another person that um, I seen this um, this scenario with was with um, oh gosh, um, Robin Thicke when he was on stage with Molly, um, um, Molly Sar um, Cyrus, where he was dressed in black and white. It's a, reference, it's a reference of being a prisoner and they're carrying these genes. And it's a reference of that homosexuality and plus on top of that sexuality. And this is all part of what this is discussing. And those that are behind it Again, it'll keep coming full circle to ancient rooted religion and ancient rooted reality. I'm going to stop this, this, this video here and I'm trying to see who the hell this is. There's a face in here looking dead at me and actually it looks like two faces. And I bet you if we look at it closer, you guys will probably know who it is. I'm not into the, um, when y'all get a chance, look in here and see who face that is. It almost, you know, to be totally honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised. And I'm not going to say it, but it almost looks like a, um, I don't know. I, I, I can't say. But the hair is all over the place. The hair, the hairstyle kind of reminds me of Tina Turner's, to be totally honest with you. But she's still alive. And are you over in Great Britain, Tina? But um, I don't know who that face is. And I haven't tied anybody. I, I don't know if it's, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. You guys are probably recognize the face right there. There's a face in that ear. And guarantee you, again, people, these are all talking about genetic bridgings where there's a cauldron-like way of, of creation of genes. There's death, there's resurrection, and there's creation of new babies. This is the, this is the modern-day biblical miracle babies um, scenario where they don't give you miracle babies no more in the biblical sense, talking about a nun being pregnant by, by, these, um, um, by an angel and all that because you know they know you're not buying it. So they're acting these scenarios out in real time. And there are people being killed behind this. Look at the look at the look at the people attaching this, who I've attached to this. 
Elvis Presley by two forms, by not just on the Revolver album cover, but through his daughter with Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson killed. He's on the album cover in an encrypted coded way. Then Jimi Hendrix, shown here. He died through asphyxiation, and they're showing him being choked to death. Isn't it? I mean, murder, I mean, it, it, you can be charged up to murder because murder don't have no statute of limitations. So you would think that either the Americans would be flying right now or the British would be talking about, we need to investigate this. You see? And then you talk showing somebody being choked right here. Lean back, hand up on it. You know what I mean? So what? The, I mean, come on now. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel. I think that I covered everything on that. And again, something is, something is terribly wrong here. I mean, I done covered a lot here. We got Elvis Presley involved in this. Um, perhaps Lisa Presley. Um, again, I don't think that she looks nothing like their mother and father. Possibly her mother, but not pretty much her father. But, um, and, and it's possible for you to have a child in the genes jump or skipped as well, too. But, I mean, if I had a child, I mean, if my hair is nappy and, and my, and, and my, um, and the female that I impregnated hair is nappy and the baby comes out with, with, um, with, um, blonde hair and blue eyes, I mean, I would be kind of leery of that. But, I mean, but gosh, I mean, good, good God, people. I mean, you got to have some type of physical trace in the hair is where it all begins. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I let other people raise those questions. But my thing is that I've tied Elvis Presley to the Beatles. I've tied um, 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 Otto, um, Otto Dix to the Beatles. Um, I've tied um, Mark Radin to the Beatles album cover. I done tied um, Michael Jackson. Jimi Hendrix, and I mean, and, and the list is just keep adding on. You know what I mean? And these are all not just affecting the individuals that I'm talking about, but their children. And then not just that, the people that create these album artist covers, then the people that they're affiliated with going to the school, their art schools, their religious affiliations. I mean, people, this thing just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. But now is the time for all of it to come full head, to come to a bubble and pop. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jerome Wright YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.